Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Studio Gen, where we focus on technology and AI tutorials. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to use Canva's Magic Edit, which is 100% free. You do not need a Canva Pro account to use this feature. So you can sign up to Canva using my link in the description below and just create a free account. And what we're going to do is create our own DIY headshots with Canva's Magic Edit. You can also use this feature just to change some photographs of yourself. Maybe you want to add some new clothing or change your hairstyle, and we're gonna do that all with Canva's tool. So open up Canva, then click upload and upload the picture of yourself you want to edit. Then click use in a new design, click custom size, and just click create new design, and that will keep it the same dimensions of the photo. So now you'll click on the image and you'll click edit photo. And you can see we have magic edit as one of the tools and it's still in beta, so it's still free for everybody to use. So now what you're going to do is step one is to brush over the image where you want to make edits. So in this case, I want to change my t-shirt to add a professional business suit. So you can adjust the brush size and just brush over the area you want to change. If you want to start over, you can click reset brushing. Then click continue. And now you will describe what you want to generate in its place. So I'm going to put a professional business suit for woman. Then click generate. And it will give you four different options to choose from. Now, always a few of them are a bit strange. You can see that's a little odd. Some of the colors are a bit strange. We can make edits to that if you decided to stick with that or just select one that looks natural to you. So this one's okay, but I wanna click generate new results, see if it can come up with something better. So you can see again, some of them are quite strange, but this one looks really good. So the important thing is to just keep selecting generate new results until you find one that you like. I really like this one. So I'm going to stick with that and click done. Now, Canva Magic Edit is different from Adobe Gen Fill because you cannot manually adjust the layers. So if I click position and then layers, you can see here it has all merged into one layer. So I'm not able to individually edit the generations that Magic Edit created. So to make new adjustments, just click Edit Photo once again, click Magic Edit, and this time I'm going to brush over my hair. And you can do this in two different sections all at the same time. So I'm gonna do both the left and right side of my hair and click continue. And I'm just going to put long blonde hair and see if it can give me back my hair. And I really like this. I mean, the color is the same. It matches my natural hair color and it makes it look like I went to the salon before I got my headshot taken. It just looks much more professional than I had it before. I'm gonna stick with this one and then click done. So from here, you can edit your photo as you would normally. You can crop it if you want to make it square size or keep it as it is. We can click edit photo again, click adjust, click auto adjust, or just manually adjust the sliders yourself to increase the brightness or the contrast, however you'd like it. We can even click on effects and go down to filters and try out any of these filters until it's exactly how you would like it. And you can go ahead and use this for your LinkedIn profile, for your Upwork profile. And to download, just click share, then download, and then download. You can use this tool to make professional headshots like I did in the first example. And you can also use this to make some fun retro style portrait. Let's say there's an 80s event or a 90s event, or let's say it's Christmas time and you want to make a Christmas portrait. You can edit your hair, your clothes, the background, whatever you want. So I hope you guys have fun exploring this tool. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you all in my next tutorial.